Hey guys, oh, I have missed you guys so, so much. I am so glad to be back with you. It has been a minute. So I just first off want to say I've missed you. Uh, it's been so hard uh, to deal with both Christmas and custom orders and keeping stuff in my shop and keeping tutorials out there for you guys. It's just been a little much for me this year, <laughs> for me at the end of this year. This year has been tough. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm using a large Santorini stone. I'm going to get the measurements for you just so you know the size of the stone. All right, so it's about six by seven. I've sketched on what I'm going to be doing, what I feel inside, um, and now I'm using Martha Stewart sponges, and each sponge is on a different color, so don't use the same sponge for each color. Use a different sponge for each color. I'm using a little bit of berry wine, a little bit of eggplant purple, and a little bit of pumpkin, pure pumpkin orange, and some saffron yellow. Those are the only colors I'm using in the sky. I'm just kind of mixing it up wherever I want. Blend it while the paint is still wet and do not use your yellow sponge for your red or your red for your yellow. Use a se separate sponge for each color. I'm adding a little bit of coral in on the side here too as well. I forgot about that. Uh, I will list all of my colors as usual in the description of the video. I'm going to be using a couple of different techniques that you've got, you guys have definitely seen before in the past. Um, blending is a big thing. Once you get it, you will not, uh, you won't be able to stop yourself because it just looks so pretty and you can do so much different stuff with uh, blending and on different, um, different types of paintings and flowers and it just really helps with shading and stuff like that too. Um, sponges. Sponges are amazing. So yeah, uh, you can't see her wings. You can't see her. She's like a winter angel. She's like uh, only the kind that you find in the cold weather. <laughs> now I am using a paintbrush from uh, thepinkchair.ca and they have amazing sets of brushes there. Just beautiful, beautiful, really good quality brushes. So if you guys are interested in getting a set of paint brushes that you can do your artwork with, uh, definitely visit thepinkchair.ca and use my discount code right here, Rachel Mitchell, all capital letters. Uh, don't forget to use that discount code, okay? Because their stuff is amazing. I'm actually gonna be um, gonna be getting like a huge amount of stuff and doing a big haul, and I'm gonna do a oh, box unboxing. Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm gonna do an unboxing um, of all the stuff that I got, so you guys can see some of the great stuff that the PinkChair.ca has. Uh, just a whole lot of good quality, lots of selection, nail foils, glitters, all the fun stuff, rhinestones, crystals, all that stuff. So I just used that paintbrush to swipe on. I wasn't careful about it. I just want wispy wings that I am now putting a little bit of French blue in, and I'm just kind of darkening some areas of the wings with the French blue. Now it looks messy. We're going to kind of clean it up a little bit now using my fine lining brush. Link is in the description. Um, and I am just kind of making it look like little feathers on the very end there. Just kind of putting some little hairs on the tips of each bit that's kind of sticking out. So we're cleaning it up. It doesn't just look like a swiped on paintbrush feather. Um, we're just kind of giving it some definition. That's what we're doing. <laughs> now I have some banana bread in the oven. I have a teenager doing my dishes for me. And the other one is being very, very well behaved because they are going to see grandma tonight and they're going to do like a Christmas Eve Christmas present opening morning type of situation like a, a Christmas before Christmas uh, tomorrow at grandma's so they're sleeping over tonight and they are the only people that have been in our bubble so it's just been us and and grandma and, and grandpa so 
they have not seen anybody else and they won't be <laughs> definitely probably for the next month or so because we are officially in lockdown um we are doing well in northern ontario where i am uh, but we are still officially going on lockdown as of uh, i believe boxing day so and that the kids are going back to homeschooling for a little bit so it should be interesting. If you don't hear from me much, <laughs> there might be a reason behind that. Um, but I've missed you guys so, so much. I'm doing like a a warm, I don't even know what to call it, like a cloak or type of, I don't even know. I, I don't, I'm not going to even give this a name, you guys. How about that? <laughs> it's 2020. I'm not even going to give it a name. It's going to be like a cloak type thing with sleeves. <laughs> I have a jacket. I have no idea. And it's going to be a nice blue color. Right now I've used um, a little bit of peacock blue mixed with royal blue. And and I'm actually going to darken it using a little bit of uh, indigo. I'm just going to darken it and use some of that lighter color that you see right now. Um, that's going to be more uh, just giving it some texture in some places. But uh, is this going to have like a fluffy, hairy, furry... Uh, hood and cuffs around the wrists are going to be fluffy and hairy and she is going to have a very simple face just eyes that are uh, closed and she's going to be praying I you know from my Santa my sleeping Santa moon that I I don't have a lot of confidence in human looking faces so this one's going to be very simple and you will also notice how much I struggle just with her praying hands <laughs> you guys I had to edit out probably about two hours worth of me working on her hands. And I swear to God, it was horrifying. I, I, it was awful. Her face I was happy with, her hands, they looked like everything but hands, I promise. And we will not discuss that because I will probably have to censor it. <laughs> It was bad, guys. It was bad. So, uh, yeah, I am defining the sleeves. There will be some fuzzy whiteness around the sleeves. Uh, and we'll be making this cloak or winter jacket uh, a lot darker um, with a little bit of shading and and uh, just trying to make it look like she's kind of on her knees praying. Um, but we're not going to be able to see anything we're not going to be able to see legs, really. It's just going to be her coat. So <laughs> it's hard for me to explain what I have in my mind. Um, I know I wanted glitter. I wanted color in the sky. And I wanted her to be like a winter angel. Like one that is wearing a warm, a warm, whatever this is, cloak. <laughs> Help. See, if this was live, you guys would be like, like Rachel, it's just a jacket with a hood. <laughs> And then I wouldn't feel like an idiot. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments what this is. It's something. She's warm. She's a winter angel. Not, not necessarily a Christmas angel. Although the star that I do in the background is going to be very, very similar to the recent star of Bethlehem that we just got to see. And, I, oh, I have to go check my banana bread. One moment, please. Banana bread is ready. <laughs> Trying not to eat it all. Because I'm actually giving people baked goods for Christmas this year. Uh, instead of breaking my butt on uh, painted items and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm not spending as much money or time as I've done in the past. And... It's just been that kind of year. So, I'm sure you all understand. So I'm doing a little bit of shading in the coat or cloak or jacket or house coat, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, and I did some shading around by the back there of the wings. Basically just adding a little bit of black to some white. Keeping it light, not going too dark with it. That's my best suggestion. <laughs> Another uh, pink chair uh, paintbrush that I'm using right now. Uh, I don't know what this paintbrush is called, but it works great for blending just like a sponge. And 
uh, I don't have to worry about it drying up and not being able to use it anymore like I do with some of my sponges because <laughs> uh, I let the paint dry on them. But I just throw this right back into my glass of water here and uh, it's ready for the next time I want to use it. I'm doing some outlining with some black and I'm just uh, keeping it light down the center there where the cloak opens up. And you can choose whatever colors you want for the sky, whatever color you want in the wings with the white, uh, whatever color you want the cloak to be, you get to decide. I didn't want to do my cloak the same colors as the sky. That's all I knew. <laughs> now I'm doing like a, a skin color, flesh color, a um, little bit of camel, a little bit of vintage tea rose, and a little bit of white. That's what I used to get this color. And I just mix up enough that I need to use and go from there. So ignore the hands throughout the entire video. You will see them change. Um, you might know an easy way to do praying hands when it comes to painting, but I do not. And I struggled. And like I said, I had to like cut hours off of this tutorial so that I didn't bore you with my multiple attempts <laughs> at making it look like hands. Uh, oh gosh, what a mess. What a mess. Um, but I got a good laugh after a while. It was, it was kind of humorous. Um, and I literally had to scrape the hands off of the rock with a scraper because it was so thick and overly painted. <laughs> it was bad. Um, so yeah. I'm not sharing that with you, but I want you all to know I did screw up badly and it took me a while to fix it and to be happy with, with the outcome. So I'm still not happy with the hands uh, in the final results, but it looks way better than what it did. That's for sure. I know that for sure. <laughs> so I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe through this holiday. Um, our numbers are rising here and it's getting scary. Um, here in Canada as well, we we we've done very well keeping our hospitals uh, open and ready for anything that happens. But uh, now it's starting to get a little bit scary, and especially when I know people are wanting to go see family and friends over these holidays, it's really putting a lot of people at risk. So I hope everyone stays safe, and I hope uh, you still are able to find joy in this season, even though this has been one heck of a year. Um, I literally ran out of steam, guys. Like, I, I ran out of steam. I have been chugging along, really, really working hard throughout this pandemic and trying to keep afloat, basically. And we, we've had such a mixture of amazing and horrifying things happen to us this year. Um, so I can't say it's all been bad, honestly. Uh, but it's been, it's been stressful, let's just say. So um, I'm very thankful for the home that I have for my children and for my husband and I. We've worked very hard. Um, and I'm very thankful that my kids are healthy. Jackson did give us a scare not that long ago. Um, but one kid on the uh, high honor roll, my 16-year-old, and one who is doing so well learning how to read that it makes me almost cry. I am so proud of these kids. And I'm very, very thankful for what I have now. After what's happened this year, I'm so thankful for what I have right now. So I hope you guys all know that you're part of this. I'm thankful for each and every single one of you. Um, I couldn't have gotten this far without you needing me here and sticking by me and watching my videos and, and sharing it with your friends and family and learning something from me and and counting on me, and that's why I'm still here. I just feel awful that it's been quite rare this month. This month has been an interesting one, <laughs> to say the least. I know you guys know. You all know what I mean. This year has just been very exhausting. Um, but we're going to move on to brighter things. I just know it. And we're going to stay positive, and we're going to stay strong. We're going to stay here for each other, and things are going to be 
amazing. I promise. And I hope, I'm hoping I have a fun one coming out um, before the end of the year. And if you have any ideas on what I can do for like a, a New Year's, a New Year's one, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try and get one sorted out um, before the year's end. Um, I will be adding some cool stuff to my shop today, uh, including this beautiful angel. It's a strange time to be adding stuff to my shop when nobody's even probably thinking about shopping right now because of Christmas and everything going on. Everybody's just busy. Like I know myself, I've, I'm baking and uh, trying to figure out when I'm going to wrap presents and when I'm going to post the tutorial and when I'm going to put stuff in my shop. And when will I shower? When? <laughs> when will I shower? <laughs> so I'm doing very simple eyes. Uh, I, I just lighten or darkened the skin color with a little bit of brown. And that's what I used for doing like very simple sleeping eyes. Uh, the nose is just a little bit of shading there, but that's going to be covered up mostly with fingertips uh, by the time I'm finished with these horrifying hands. I just couldn't even like I'm honestly I know children watch my channel and I don't I don't block children from seeing my stuff. But honest to goodness, these hands looked horrifying and almost look like lady parts in certain areas. And it was just bad. Like they're blank again. Look at that. <laughs> they're blank again. I, I had such a hard time with these hands. Um, so any tips and tricks on how to do praying hands easily without making them look like lady parts, uh, please notify me in the comments below. <laughs> Horrifying. I'm telling you there, there is not enough coffee or wine or spirits in the world to help me get through this <laughs> a whole lot of editing so I'm furring the hat up a little bit using some white uh, and my fine lining brush and whoopsie I went overboard there and had to remove it with a q-tip um, but yeah I'm just trying to make it look like her hood is furry and fluffy and warm because it's winter and she just happens to be in in Ontario so she's got to be warm. I have a lot of snow <laughs> right now, so it's not too bad, but we're getting more. And it's it's nice because we thought for a little bit there we weren't going to have snow for Christmas. So we got dumped on, <laughs> as I'm sure a lot of you have been recently uh, if you are in Canada. And uh, I've seen a lot of pictures of people who are like up to their chests in snow. <laughs> it's not quite that bad here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, but it's bad enough. It's bad enough where I have to wear warm boots and mittens, scarf and jacket when I take my son to the bus stop. So, <laughs> so I've done some just uh, burnt umber, I believe it's called. It's a nice shade of brown. Yes, burnt umber. And I used that for the hair and then I went over it with some gold. And now I'm going over it again to kind of tone down those highlights um, with the brown. So her in the end, it's just going to look like she has some highlights in her hair like every angel should have. And um, she just looks like a simple praying angel with no hands <laughs> at the moment. Oh, oh, surprise. There's hands and it still to me does not look right. I, I, you, they will look different again. I will be fixing those again for now. Let's move on to the wings. So I've got this stuff. This is what it looks like under resin. It's beautiful. It's called angel flakes. And I got this also from the pink chair.ca. It is literally flakes from an angel. It's beautiful. I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge. If you have Elmer's glue or anything that dries clear, um, you just put on like a couple of swipes in each wing and I'm going to sprinkle on some of these angel flakes. They're literally called angel flakes. I'm putting them on like a fluffy paintbrush and then I'm just tapping the paintbrush over top of where I've glued. It's not going to have that much on there that I haven't used my desk broom. <laughs> I got to use my desk broom and brush off all the extra crystals or flakes. And then I'm going to do it again because there wasn't quite enough glitter in the wings the first time around. So I'm going to just do the same thing again, follow the same steps, 
tap on some extra glitter and this stuff is like little flakes um it you can't pick it up with your fingers like i literally if you spill it you're done you have to get your vacuum out <laughs> so do it on top of paper so that you can shake that excess glitter back into the container you don't want to waste this stuff it's gorgeous um, and yeah, I just want the wings to glitter a little bit. I'm going to be using different types of glitter throughout. Um, we're not doing a whole lot of gold on our angel or anything, uh, around the angel. Like I'm not going to be outlining the wings or anything like that. So, so I'm just using my desk broom again, which is like a soft fan brush, just a large fan brush that I use for pretty much anything uh, glitter related and sweeping up any kind of glitter off my my rocks and and my desk clean up little messes with it that's what I do <laughs> it's very handy very very handy I don't use it for paint I only use this one for glitter I just keep it aside all the time so there's just a little bit of glitter on the wings not too much I don't want to be too overpowering with it um, it almost looks like little shards of ice so it's kind of cool now you guys have seen this kind of glitter before. It's for nails. It's, um, I got this stuff on Amazon. It comes in like a set of five different colors or seven different colors. Sometimes there's nine. Um, I'm using purple. It's chrome powder. It's, it's very, very fine, fine powder. It's, it's like eyeshadow, but in dust form. It's not in a solid. Um, so I swipe it on using an eyeshadow sponge. And I'm using red on the red, purple on the purple, and I'm using like a gold on the yellow. So I'm just making sure. And it just gives it that nice sparkly, kind of like eyeshadow. You can get away with using eyeshadow as well uh, if you don't have this chrome powder. But what you want to do once you've put that, uh, that glitter on there is you want to keep it in place and use Mod Podge or any kind of glue that will dry clear just like the stuff we used on the wings for the angel flakes. So how appropriately named angel flakes going on the angel's wings. The pink chair, I love you. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Um, so once again, working on her hands, just ignore it until I'm done. You guys, I hope you guys have better luck on the hands than what I did because it is so frustrating. Um, now she, she looks like she's wearing skin colored mittens and I could have left it like that, <laughs> but I'm not going to, no, I'm going to put in another hour's worth of time on her hands. <laughs> I may scrape them off again and put them back on. Um, yeah, that still doesn't look good to me. I don't like it. I did a darker underline under her eyes there. Um, but her face is super simple. There's not much to it. Uh, fill in extra areas with hair and stuff if you need to. Um, just make sure that she looks cozy and warm, I guess. That's all I care about. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave her hands the way I have them now, but you'll see them after. Right now we're going to put some stars in the sky, including the beautiful Star of Bethlehem. Um, I believe there was two planets that went conjunct, if anybody knows the name of those two. Um, might have been Saturn and Jupiter or I don't even know but there was two um, two planets that went conjunct and together they create this star um, which is be beautiful like uh, any picture that I saw was just absolutely beautiful no other stars shine that way um, so yeah this is what I was planning on doing for this beautiful winter angel so I'm using gel polish. You guys have seen me use this before, uh, where you have to cure it under your little UV LED lamp before you can put the chrome powder on. This is the same chrome powder um, that I was telling you about. It's just like a goldish color. So once you put it under the lamp, you put the chrome powder on, you can see the star, brush it off with your little desk broom, and there you go. There you go. I think she's ready to be resined. You guys ready for this? Oh, I'm excited to show you because she actually looks fantastic. I think it just might be all the glitter that I see under that glass coat of resin. I just felt like she is going to be very much loved. She's peaceful, 
She sparkles. She shines. The sky. Look at the sky. Look at the star in the sky. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I did put a couple of extra dots in the sky uh, with some chrome powder. So if you see like a larger, like little gold dots, that is from me doing the same thing I did on the star. I just didn't drag out the, uh, the brightness of the star. <laughs> Sorry about my ring light. I don't want it to affect what you guys can see. I just want to tell you all I love you. Hopefully I'll be back before the end of the new year, but I do want to wish you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you're celebrating. Please be safe and make sure you are back for more because I've got to be back for more. So do you. There goes. Uh, now that means I have to bake more. I love you guys. Please keep painting. Stay safe. Stay sane. And let me know what you thought of this beautiful little winter angel. Bye, guys. Take care.